This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 763, A New Normal, by Angelina Lee of ExploringPlanB.com. Hello, everybody. I am your host, Greg Audino, and this is Optimal Relationships Daily, where we seek to help you improve all of the relationships in your life by narrating to you from some of the best blogs and books out there composed by relationship experts. Today, we're going to be looking at a post that's both well-timed, yet will withstand the test of time. Angelina Lee talks to us about the new normal on everyone's lips and offers lessons that will last a lifetime. Let's hear what she has to say and start optimizing your life. A New Normal by Angelina Lee of ExploringPlanB.com I have long resisted the idea of a new normal. I hate that phrase. It conjures up images of restricted movement, masks, and touch-free living. Nevertheless, a new normal has become a part of our new vocabulary, which is another story. My daughter's birthday was this week, and she is at the tender age when a birthday party is an integral part of social life. Thankfully, she's also at the age when she understands the various restrictions in place now and the reasons behind them. Given the fact that our country is now declared to be without any cases of infection, we suggested that we could ask two of her friends to meet us outside on her special day to ride their bikes with her. We made it clear to our daughter that we would have to make sure that her friend's parents were comfortable with meeting face-to-face, and that, if so, there would be no frills, no fuss, no party. Just a chance to spend a short time outside with two friends, all protocols and guidelines observed. The idea of seeing a friend in real life was enough to overwhelm her with excitement. It then dawned on me that she hadn't seen any of her friends since school closed abruptly in the middle of March. Sure, she saw them every day during her online classes, but only through a screen. I readied myself to send a message to the moms. Please don't feel pressured to say yes, I typed. We completely understand if you'd rather not just yet. My heart sank further with each word. It felt unnatural to frame an invitation in such a way. To our great delight, both moms were happy to oblige. One mom even returned the favor of continuing the unnatural conversation by asking whether the kids should be masked. We then laughed at what she called the bizarre conversations that have become normal. The new normal. Again, not my favorite concept. A few minutes before going outside for our physically distanced meetup, I felt like I again needed to dispel some grandiose idea of a birthday celebration that may have been lurking in my daughter's mind. I called her close and cautiously said, I know that you're looking forward to this, but remember, this is not a party. We're just going to see our friends for a bit. Her answer was immediate. She said, Oh, I know. I'm just so excited to see them. That's it. That's all that mattered to her. Not a party, not a celebration, not a cake, not a gift. These things may have mattered before, in times gone by when a birthday party was a standard event to be planned and executed. But not now. Not at a time when we hadn't seen friends in over two months. Not at a time when we were mostly indoors until recently. Not in this new normal. Then it hit me. What is it about the new normal that I longed for? What did I miss? Certainly not the busyness, the constant rushing, the excessive consumerism, or the ingratitude that accompanies certainty and comfort. To be frank, the only things of old that I want are health, safety, and security of employment. And admittedly, even in normal times, these are neither certain nor guaranteed. This new normal in which we have been ordered to stay isolated has birthed within us a genuine appreciation for connection and interaction. Although we are now without so many things that we consider to be normal, I find myself enjoying so many things that, although not new concepts, are new experiences. Things like prolonged uninterrupted family time. Things like reaching out to loved ones in the middle of the week just to chat. Things like taking the time to rest, to reflect, to read, and to grow. And for the first time, I am excited for the new normal that faces us. One in which we are immensely grateful for the little things, like bike rides with friends. One in which we make time for connection with loved ones, even in the middle of the week. One in which we embrace tightly and aren't the first to let go. One in which we work like it's a blessing and run our errands like it's a privilege. 
one in which we greet each other wholeheartedly because we no longer need a screen to be seen, one in which we don't spend all week wishing for the weekend, but we appreciate that each day brings the opportunity to find joy, one in which we spend time on things that make us come alive, not because a pandemic has forced us indoors, but because we now know that there is more to life than efficiency and productivity. One in which we no longer place emphasis on a celebration with presence because we have learned that the only thing worth celebrating is presence. One in which we remove not only our physical masks, but we set aside the smokescreen of perfection and embrace authenticity. One in which we spend less time doing and more time being. One in which it is normal to be grateful. One in which it is normal to live simply. One in which it is normal to be content. Yes. A new normal. I quite like the idea. You just listened to the post titled A New Normal by Angelina Lee of exploringplanb.com. Guys, at Optimal Relationships Daily, we understand that navigating sensitive issues such as money and health can be extremely stressful, and such stress and anxiety can easily create family conflicts and affect your relationships. So before that happens, know that BetterHelp is here to help you cope with your emotions. BetterHelp assesses your needs and matches you with your personal licensed professional therapist, providing a safe and private online environment for you at your convenience. They have professional counselors specializing in depression, family conflicts, grief, and more to help you. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. BetterHelp is not self-help, it is professional counseling where everything you share is confidential. Guys, I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash ORD. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash ORD. Ah, the lessons we learn from children. This is a wonderful post from Angelina, and it is important to be regularly exposed to insight like this. We all know, we've all heard that it's important to seek out the lessons in the toughest of times. But that doesn't mean it's a reflex for everyone, nor does it mean that everyone is convinced that there are good lessons to be learned in literally every seemingly unpleasant experience. What Angelina has done is exemplified how we can shift our mindset in times as turbulent as the coronavirus and what unexpected blessings we've been provided with alongside the hardship. She refers to very simple pleasures, pleasures we can often rely on and thus take for granted. Get back in touch with them, normalize the celebration of them, and prepare to find how much fortune there is even in the darkest of days. And what an episode to uplift us. It has come to the end though, friends. I hope that today's episode has uplifted you a bit in these very uncertain times, and that you leave today knowing that the simple pleasures await. I'll talk to you all next time, where your optimal life also awaits.